All right, folks, so before I begin the video, we start off by saying you hear the background noise. Obviously, I am at work. Um, there's a lot of heavy, heavy machinery going on right now, so uh, yeah, please excuse the background noise. And I will be twirling around just a little bit. I don't know. This is what I want to talk about, man. I want to talk about how people will place you in a certain age bracket and just because you're in this age bracket you're supposed to look a certain way dress a certain way so Saturday we went down to uh, visit my parents in South Carolina right but while, I, while we were down there you know I went and I saw some of my cousins now let me tell you a little, a little something about my cousins, man. Country folk ain't never been nowhere ever. Just in the little bubble that they've been in all their life, right there in South, in the little small town, never been anywhere. Okay. Um, and they grew up with certain traditions or beliefs. Okay. A lot of them believe that once you hit. But once you get to like age 35 and up, you're supposed to look and dress a certain way for that age. Now, for the most part, I agree with that, that, that ide ideology about, uh, if I put a, have to put a percentage on it, about 20, 25% of that uh, I agree with. The rest of it, is BS and I'm gonna tell you why, alright? Because according to them, when they look at me, they say, hey cousin or hey DJ, why you dress the way you dress? You dress like you trying to like you still like you 20, 25 years old. I'm like, what? I'm like, no, I don't. I dress how I dr I mean, it's it's comfortable to me, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe that once you hit 35 you're supposed to all of a sudden put your dad pants on if you don't know what the hell dad pants are these are dad pants all right no, hell to the no I'll be damned that I am a dad I'm a father but no we're not going there you guys, for the most part, see how I dress, all right? I'm not too far to the left, and I'm damn sure not too far to the right. But I think in their eyes, I'm supposed to be more conservative. I'm supposed to have, according to them, I'm supposed to have the khakis, right? I'm supposed to have the pleated jeans. I'm supposed to wear the button-up shirts that you have to button all the way up to the top of your damn neck. That's how they, that's how they dress, and that's how they, they believe I should dress. At 35 years old, 38 years old, and they look like they're freaking 60, 70 years old. And I'm like, man, you, 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 you mother hunters look miserable. They keep saying, well, you, you're 40. I'm like, yeah, I'm 40 years young. You dig? I'm 40 years young. Just because I'm 40 years old does not mean I'm supposed to look like somebody's high school teacher. Hell, even high school teachers don't even look like that look like that anymore, man. For real. I'm not out here on some old early 2005 vibe. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the 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 oversized the, the 5XL t-shirt, the size I don't know how the big ass extra baggy jeans and whatnot. Uh, a baseball cap that's five times too damn big for my head. I'm not out here, out here looking like I'm a, the lost member of the franchise boys, right? I'm, I'm not on that. Damn sure I'm not on that whole young thug vibe either. I'm not out here with the, with, the, with the super skinny jeans on. I don't got my man blouse on and whatnot. I don't do none of that feminine crap, all right? I'm a man. Just a little bit, man. What the hell is a 40-year-old or a 35-year-old and up? What, what is our dress code? What are we supposed to look like? Are we supposed to be that damn conservative? 
again, I'm subscribed to a lot of you guys, and a lot of you guys are in that same age bracket that I'm talking about. And I don't see, and y'all look how I look. So my question is to you again, what what are we supposed to look like? And do you get the same flack from people that I get from my family that are in their 30s, early 30s, and they're going bald, balding, and they just look horrible. And they see me, that's what I think it is, man. I, honestly, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit of jealousy, all right? Because I'm, I'm older than them, but I look better than them. You know what I'm saying? I dress better, I smell better. Everything about me is better. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, it, but it could, it could very well be that. It could be, you know. But I'm not going to conform to something that I'm not. Just because you guys gave up on life does not mean I'm supposed to join you. Misery loves company, and I don't want to keep company with misery. The day that my wife or my Children come to me and say, hey, 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 baby, hey, dad, what you, what you wearing right now? I ain't hitting on, I ain't, you ain't really doing like that no more, bro. Be the day, that'll be the day that I hang all this up. That'll be the day that I, you know, take my salvage Dean jeans off, my Levi's and whatnot, and I trade them in for a pair of dad pants. I go ahead, and, I go ahead and get my Air Monarchs on and whatnot. Go ahead and get my extra tight button down or button up shirt but that day will be no time soon because right now you talk to my daughter talk to all my daughter's friends they're going to tell you your dad is the coolest dad that we know your dad's shoe game is on point we love how your dad dressed hell we not hell from a 14 year old or 15 year old but you know still paraphrasing here I've heard them say to my face, we wish our dad was as cool as you. We wish our dad had your sense of style. We wish our dad dressed like how you dress. That makes me feel great. I love hearing that. You know what I'm saying? That's that, I mean, that's, that's cool. I'm not out here embarrassing my child, you know, my kid is proud to walk beside me and not be like, all right, dad, you know, you can stay here. I'm, I'll go catch my friends. Nah, it's like, check my dad. Look look at the shoes, look what he got on. Look at that shirt, look at those jeans. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, your dad is fresh. I've seen my daughter's friends, um, fathers. And these guys look like they're in their damn 70s and their 80s, man. And, and we the same damn age. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's why they don't like me. I wonder if their wife's like me, though. Hmm. <laughs> it's all right. I know mine love me. But anyway. And please, man. Please, please, please. Please comment below, man. Let me know if you guys have experienced what I'm going through or what I've been through. Because this is not the first time I heard it. And I'm quite sure it won't be the last time I'm going to hear this. But like I said before, man. I don't do... I don't go overboard in how I dress. I'm simple and plain. You know what I'm saying? And again, the day that my loved ones come to me and say, hey, you know, this is not you anymore, then that'll be the day I start rocking t-shirt and jeans and some, and some sneakers. And that's that. So with that being said, people, please comment down below. Let me know uh, if you've if experienced this, this, this BS. Um, and that's that, man. You know the motto, man. Always be unique and stand out instead of being the same and just blending in. It's your man, Mr. NC Stand Up. Y'all be easy, and I'll get it y'all later.